evening. Starred as the voice of young Simba in The Lion King, and for the last six seasons, he's played Randy on Home Improvement. Now, starting July 2nd, you can see him in the new film, Wild America. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm doing real good. I'm good. doing real good. This yeah. uh, this movie looks uh, exciting. Yeah, that's an exciting clip. Definitely. Was that a real bear? What's the story? Are you guys using real bears or robot bears? No, we actually, in fact, we we used real bears, but they were they were quite tame. Um, the trainers would would often have the the crew guys come over, and people wanted pictures with the bears. And, and one day, you know, she said it was okay to to kiss the bears. So you know, the the bear would stick out its tongue, and and and, and the and crew people would kiss it. They would kiss the bear on the tongue. I would not do that. That would be, I would say no. <laughs> did, did you actually kiss the bear on the tongue? No. Oh, are you kidding me? No <laughs> way. I, I, I said no, and thank God, because a minute later, I saw him lap up a pool of his own urine. It was not good. <laughs> it was not good. It was, it was bad. It could be an embarrassing first date. Yeah, that was, uh, that's disgusting. Uh, but they used, uh, they used actual... Didn't they use some mechanical animals? Yeah, we actually animals? Did, use, we did use some, you know, mechanical animals. I, I Were they had... realistic or like the Disneyland bears with the hats and the corncob <laughs> pipe? And the... we, they, I think they were pretty realistic. I mm -hmm. hope they were. Um, Sometimes in movies you can tell, you know, like chimp movies a lot. Yeah. When they use a robot chimp or they, or they put a guy in a chimp suit I, and you can see the human eyes behind and he's like <laughs> taking a drag on a cigarette, you know. <laughs> uh, it takes you out of the movie a bit. Oh, but, completely, completely. But these were good robots. They were very good robots. Robots. In fact, I, I spent a, a day riding a mechanical moose, which was interesting. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Put that on your resume under yeah. skills. Yeah. Um, well, it, how was it? It, it, it was just, did it move slowly? Did it? No, did it, it actually moved quite quickly. They had uh, several people pushing the mechanical moose, and I had to ride sort of on that, its head. That can hurt the realism a bit when you see people pushing <laughs> yeah. it. Well, you didn't see them. Oh, okay. They were right, sort of, right. uh, you all know, right. hidden, but uh, its head <laughs> kept on falling off. So, you know, I'm putting me on the ground with it. Which also hurts the realism. That's now, you, right. you do, uh, how old are you, by the way? I'll be 16 in about two months. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're getting on in years. Do you, That's right. Do you do on your own, on your own, on your shows, do you do your own stunts in, in, uh, in movies and things like that? Um, for the most part. I mean, nothing real, real perilous. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, they, there's a scene where in the film Wild America, they, they drop me from, from about, you know, 15 foot, uh, a, a tree and, and drop me into this, this pool of water strapped to a chair and then they start throwing cherry bombs at me. Okay, that's, I would say that's perilous. Yeah, I, that would, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. This is an easy stun. We're going to strap you to a chair and, and throw you off a building and you'll fall into some water. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It was okay? You don't get worried at all? Uh, no, well, Are no, your parents I can't say there that. saying, yeah, hey, uh, can we have the you know, chair made of foam? Or, <laughs> My mom's there kind of watching like this. You know, she's, she gets quite scared. But they all look out for you and, and make sure you're all right. And, yeah, and you enjoy doing it too? Well, it's exciting. I mean, that's part of the, the joy of, of filmmaking. And, uh, you know, it, it's fun. You get to do, I'd, I would say, more than on the TV show in films, you really get to, you know, see things blow up and jump off things. Definitely, definitely. I mean, that's, that's part of the, the joy. Of yeah. Do you like being, because, you know, you're a teen idol. Do you enjoy that? I mean, you, I know you take your acting seriously, but do you enjoy, there's a side of it where you look at the teen magazines, you're always on the cover of every teen magazine, you know? Uh, Not um, that I'm checking them out. You yeah, know? right. I'm kind of concerned that you're buying <laughs> yeah. these here. I've noticed over the last few years, no, but we went and got our researchers, I swear to God, went and got a whole bunch of these magazines, and we're, uh, and we're you know, looking at them, and you're like on every cover. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part that you just kind of have to accept, I guess. I mean, I, it's not... You get some enjoyment out of it. <laughs> but, uh, You're yeah. getting the sympathy of everybody here. <laughs> Thank you. It's Thank so you. difficult. <laughs> uh, do you ever get competitive with the other teen idols? Do you ever see Sabrina and go, oh, you get yours? Or... <laughs> Let's go over to Hanson's house and kick some ass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. It's all very 
very friendly. No, I mean, it, it, it's all very friendly. I mean, it, it's not a big deal. I, I welcome right. it. It's fine. It's right. really not a well, big deal. Well, then those, they, they, yeah, they always make it seem like celebrities are palling around with each they other. They do. They do. It, it is kind of bizarre. It's a wacky world. But, yeah, but uh, they make it seem like, you know, here, Jonathan Taylor Thomas enjoys a chat with, you know, and then, you know, three other people who are in TV right, who shows. Right, I've absolutely never seen in my life Exactly. Before. Yeah. No, I never saw, you know, celebrity, I see celebrities here because they have to talk to me, you know. <laughs> Men in my regular life. No. <laughs> Come on back. Oh, I guess they didn't see me. Uh, your role model, I heard somewhere, is uh, Jodie Foster. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, one of the many. But one yeah, of the many, I love yeah. Jodie Foster, Ron Howard. Um, you know, just because she she's very very bright, intelligent. She took a little time off, went to went to school, concentrated right. on education, came out, and uh, is doing extremely well. In she life. started out as a as a child actor, and then really made something out of That's it. That's right. You're so gonna go to school, right? You're gonna go to college. Definitely. Smart definitely. move. All right. Well, Wild America opens July second, and Home Improvement, of course, Tuesdays at nine on ABC. That's right. And uh, you're a very nice guy. It's very well, nice for you to come on the thank show. Thank you for having me, Jonathan really Taylor Thomas. It. Everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. See you in a second. All right, everybody, that is our show of the evening. I do want to thank all my guests. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, thanks so much for being here. Good to have you with us. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to play us out, Mr. James Brown. Okay, our next guest plays Randy, the precocious middle son on the popular sitcom Home Improvement, now he's starring in a new film called Wild America, and here's Jonathan Taylor. We've been having Jonathan on the show since he started the, the Home Improvement series when you were nine years old. That's right. And now you're on the verge of 16? Almost two months. Two months. Two months. A seasoned actor. Huh? Well, what does that mean to you, turning 16? Driving. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't you get a car the last time you were here? No, you know, I haven't I haven't gotten a car yet. I've had my permit for about nine months. Oh, that's what I've been driving. Your permit. Yeah. That's right. I've been now you're gonna get the Mom. official license. That's right. You can drive license. alone. That's right. right. That's right. It's gonna be great. You're gonna have a big sixteen party? You know, I almost said sweet sixteen party. <laughs> 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 well, um, no, I think I'm just gonna do the normal, you know, with my family, select a few close friends mm -hmm. and uh, you know. Okay, good. Well, how do your friends treat you? I mean, after well, how many years now on this series? We're going seven into years? our, yeah, our seven years. Is that. it possible, Jonathan, to lead a normal life? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is. My friends I've had for, for a long time, and uh, they're very close, and uh, I'm not one to have a, a lot of friends. I have a select few people that have, I've known for years, and, and they're great. We have you a got a girlfriend? Time. You know, I haven't had much time for that lately. <laughs> um, you know, sort of wrapped the show and then went right into school and, and studied hard for finals mm -hmm. and uh finals and you what grade are you in anyway i actually i just finished my freshman year which i'm which i'm very happy about i get to go back next year and i'm right. no longer the little man on the totem pole yeah, you know right, get to sure. be get to be a sophomore. a sophomore yes yeah. indeed all right fine so uh, no time for girls yet not not well when i drive see, it's on, gonna Jonathan, be a whole talk, different you're talking <laughs> when i drive see, it's what are you gonna do in that car all alone <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, when I when I drive it, it'll be different. It won't be mom and me will pick you up at seven. You know, it'll just be. You mean to tell me for the last year you've been driving around with your mother? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you mean none of your friends are over sixteen and that none of them have cars? Uh, no, I mean some of them do, but uh, you know I like driving. I enjoy it. I like being behind the wheel, and, and mom's a great yeah. teacher. It's a whole really life. Is. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's very good. So, what are you going to do while you're here in New York this time? You know. Uh, we have see some well, shows? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going to go see uh, Bring in the Funk, Bring in the Noise, sure. that show, which I that. hear is incredible, and I'm hoping to go see some other plays, but um, it's actually nice to come here for, for more than like a, a day or two, get to spend some time, but it is it is warm out there. Yeah, I'm sorry about the heat. Everybody, Everybody's holding me responsible for the heat. <laughs> but you know, you look at Jonathan, and he does look like Tim Allen, doesn't he? I mean, I'm sure they took that into consideration when they cast you, that you would look somewhat like him. Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, I. I get that all the time. I hope that's not the only reason they cast me. No, no, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's because you, you had so many credits in your acting ability as well. well isn't but, Jonathan's hair the most beautiful color you've ever seen? I mean, you it's can just... thank my style. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is 
<laughs> Gorgeous. And natural, too. <laughs> so they just, duh. That's how they got that way. It's like tipped with copper and beautiful. Blonde. It's just a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> Any young girl would be happy to go with you, you know what I'm saying? Between your hair and the new car, you got it made. We'll right. be right back in just a moment. We're going to show you a clip from Wild America. Those are all your fans. I get another <laughs> shot of that, McGrew. Let's just see. They, they, they all like Jonathan. <laughs> they love their Jonathan. And where did you see his new hair? <laughs> all right, fine. Everybody's got fans around here, but me. <laughs> <laughs> Wild America, action movie, huh? adventurous movie. Definitely. I filmed it about a year ago. It's a, it's a true story based on the life of the Stauffer brothers. A lot of adventure, a lot of what, fun What did these kids do? They went across the country? Yeah, they actually went across the country in 1967 to uh, film wildlife and do wildlife films. And uh, it was it was a blast to make. We encountered a lot of animals. It was mm. great. And they were your age, these the Stauffer brothers? Yeah, they, there were three brothers who were ages, I believe, like seven, uh, 18, 16, and, and 14. And they actually left. And during that time, I mean, that was a big thing. Uh, they yeah, left Fort I would Smith, say so. Arkansas. Age to be uh, able to, to do that on their own like that? Definitely. You they took a camera and they... Uh, they took a camera and they went off yeah, and uh, were very brave. Were very All right, brave. fine. Well, there's a lot of stunts in this movie. I mean, it really is an action film and you did many of your own stunts, right? They did a lot of the stunts. It was the most physical film I've done, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it was Did great. you get hurt at all, John? Not too bad. I mean, cut some bruises, but... You know, nothing it, serious. Nothing serious and it, it was well worth it. I Let's mean, that's, do it! Well, we now, go. there he is. Here's a... Uh, a little drag race scene yeah. in the mud. Now, is that you? Um, that part is... that's me. <laughs> there, and that's me. There. <laughs> that looks dangerous. Yeah. To me. That's well, not, I mean, if I was your mother, I would be holding my breath right I mean, now. She kind of she kept one eye open. <laughs> See, I hope you don't get your hair dirty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot of mud. A lot of mud. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go again. Like hell, you'll go again. <laughs> it wasn't the cleanest of scenes. Yeah, not at all. It was dirty. How long does it take you to film a scene like that? That actually spent uh, three days covered head to toe in mud and basically, you know, had to run back to the trailer and, and had to explain why, why my teachers, I had to explain to my teachers why my tests had mud <laughs> all over them. <laughs> But you had to keep doing it over and over, over and, and over and over, and they kept on having to reapply the mud because it got dirty, sure, you know, right. and, it, and, it, and it got dry, <laughs> and it, it was like bad. Fun. You did oh. something on a moose, too, didn't you? That's a, right, that, yeah. That, we have a, a lot of run-ins with animals, and I actually, yeah, I had to spend a day riding a, a mechanical moose, which was... <laughs> It's difficult, all right? <laughs> a real live one might have been easier. That's right, right. but um, it, it was difficult because his, his head kept falling off <laughs> and with me on it, so yeah. it kept on dumping me onto the ground, but uh, it, was, it was worth it. We have your uh, co-star, one of your co-stars on tomorrow. That's right, Devin Sauer. Devin Sauer, yeah. Or Looking Devon forward. to reach us. Yeah, Devon to me. <laughs> All right, so it opens on July 2nd. Yeah. Jonathan, thanks so much. Have Thank a great you. time here Thank in New York, you. okay? Thank you. We'll be right back with Claudia. She's got the ladies on the Princess Guy auction here in New York.